Hi, everyone. I've been just looking at the Passion Bible here and this wonderful scripture that says that God makes all things new. When we reconcile to him in Christ, all things are new. What a joy it is. It reminds me of that scripture that says his mercy is new every morning. Thank you so much for joining us on Face to Face. As I promised last week or the last time we spoke, I was going to hold on to David Eden's pants leg, which I've done for you, because he's got some other things that are so interesting, particularly in relation to the things that are taking place in the world today. David, once again, thank you for your time. I know it's not so easy, but I'm so grateful that you give us this time. Thank you, Lauren. It's uh, always good. I uh, get inspired and you have inspired me a lot in the last year. So it's so good to connect together. I want to ask you about something that happened in, I think it was, um, well, it was in Munich in a gathering in what year was that? What time, when was the year Munich gathering? Uh, 2015 in 2015. October. The Lord spoke something very interesting to you there. Won't you share that with us? That's uh, almost uh, over five years ago. Actually, the, the start of this, I will just give a background to this gathering because uh, the gatherings usually are times when the Lord called us to come together, to seek his face and to listen to him. So it is not uh, following a human agenda or a human plan. And sometimes the Lord gives us little nuggets before we go, so we uh, see how it will happen. And sometimes we go uh, because he called us and then we discover uh, what he wants there. And uh, this gathering, actually, the, uh, the thrust of it or the, uh, the heart of it was uh, when we began feeling that the Lord is connecting the global family together, the, uh, the the members of the body from different nations, colors, tribes, tongues, age groups. And uh, as we began walking in that, uh, it was very interesting. The Asian people uh, felt in their heart that how can we move forward without the Asians, the East, uh, honoring the West for what they have sacrificed, uh, bringing the gospel and all the people that have uh, gave their lives for uh, the, the East to know the Lord. So uh, out of Jerusalem came the gospel uh, and uh, in, a, in, a, in a phase, the West took the gospel. Even some people sold themselves to slavery for the sake of taking the gospel to uh, the remote areas of the world. So now we see uh, the gospel has reached the East. Nothing is perfect. I mean, it was not a perfect job. Uh, because nothing is perfect. There is no family that's perfect. There is no church that's perfect. But always God used the imperfect people to release the gospel and to spread it. So the, the East felt we need to come uh, to the West and honor them and thank them before we move together as one global body. So we began praying at this time. Okay, where do we do that, Lord? And we thought of North America, we thought of here, and the Lord spoke about Europe, out of Europe, where Lord, the Lord spoke about Germany, and out of Germany, where Lord, and the Lord spoke about Munich. The, f uh, the reason I'm sharing this, because uh, one of the things that you will discover in the story coming, it's, uh, it's very interesting when you know the background. So we felt that we needed to go uh, at this time around uh, October, November. We didn't have a clue why, but we felt October, November. So we uh, asked for uh, one of the arenas in Munich and we discovered it was the 70th year to the Second World War. So all the arenas were booked solid for the whole year. And even they told us people booked two years in advance, three years in advance, and now we are coming asking for something in a few months. So they said it's all closed. So anyway, the, the, we said, okay, if there is any dates that will open, please, please let us know. That's the Olympic arena for the Munich Olympics uh, that uh, was held there before. So we waited and waited, and then uh, God was so sovereign 
there were some concerts that were booking the arena cancelled and it happened to be back to back so we got four days in October and that's why these dates are not our choice it was the only dates given to us because of a cancellation so we came from all over the world there were a few thousands there there was 1500 out of uh, the Chinese and the Asians 1500 out of maybe uh, for almost a third of the whole gathering uh, it was it was beautiful to see all the Asians, all the East coming to honor the West. The first day was a preparation for the gathering, and I usually get up, uh, look at my Bible, and uh, read uh, read my Bible on the phone. So as I was reading, as I was opening my my phone to read the Bible, a page popped up, and it was very interesting. Uh, and then the the page is not even on my apps or I have never seen it before, uh, but I think it's a common page. It, uh, it's called happened on that day. So the page popped up and I, I, I'm always intrigued to know what happened. That day was October 24th, uh, nine, uh, 2015. So I was intrigued and I look and the first one was today, 70 years ago, the Charter of the United Nations started. The United Nations Char Charter was uh, uh, started. And I thought, wow, 70 years, October 24th, 1945. October, now we are 70 years later, October 24th, 2015. So I was intrigued. 70 is a number that I find it very interesting in the Bible because it's related to Jeremiah's prophecy. 70 years captivity and then I'll bring them back into the land. So I was thinking of that and I was as I was meditating about wow we are on that day on 70 years what is the Holy Spirit saying? Then I heard a voice clearly in my spirit and the voice said I have given the United Nations in the natural this is a natural United Nations uh, I have given them 70 years to fulfill what they desired, which is bringing unity. That's why they called it the United Nations, as they wanted to bring unity and also to prevent from a third world war, because that was uh, the second world war at this uh, just happened at this time. So uh, I heard the voice saying I have given the United Nations 70 years and they could not fulfill what they endeavored to do now mark it on your calendar today i'm going to start preparing my spiritual united nations and i will show the whole world what i'm about to do with my spiritual united nations right away i knew in my spirit that there is a united nations in the spirit which will mean the body of christ so there is a unity there is in the spirit that the law will form in the body of Christ, and the Lord is giving the uh, uh, the inauguration day. The the it's like His voice spoke. He said, "I'm going to show the world what I'm about to do through my spiritual United Nations." So now, five years later, 2020, the Lord is shaking heaven and earth, uh, in, in in all the world, because there is an emerging ecclesia, emerging body, emerging church from every color tribe and nation and i'm not talking about this amazing that it's happening in the day where people cannot even meet together physically so as if the lord is emphasizing the point that it is not natural and it's not by you meeting together it's in the spirit and i want just to give you a little concept so you can understand uh, when when uh, 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 the whole thing of Steve Jobs when he brought the iCloud. Do you remember uh, when the iCloud came and the whole thing? It was a phenomena that you can have your iPad uh, uh, in your home and you can have your, uh, your, your computer, your MacBook or uh, somewhere in Brazil and you can have your iPhone in Hong Kong. And uh, when, once they are compatible, connected to the cloud, you can type something on one of them it goes all of them receive it at the same time and i remember at this time the lord spoke 
to my heart and he said if I can do that in the natural how much more I can do that in the spiritual the download from the cloud uh, of heaven uh, the download from the cloud of, he of heaven to you and to me and to everyone even we are not physically together but we are born again spirit filled connected to the cloud the orders of God and the, and the agreement we are all in the same uh, track and in the same download and then suddenly the Lord fast forward he said if I can do that in the natural how much more I can do that by my spirit when people are not gathered together but yet they will get the same download and uh, in that now we are more closer than ever 2020 ushered in so 2021 as we started 2021 we are going to see the manifestation of that people are going to hear God and walk together in an authority of the spiritual United Nations and I believe what's happening in all the world now in economical shaking and in political shaking we have seen uh, what's happening in the US and all the political shakings is to bring one thing don't be afraid you little flock the Lord the Father is pleased to give you the kingdom and he's not shaken by the shakings and he's not divided by the division but his body there is a remnant that is in oneness and unity and I'll give you a story that is not real story but a, a story I got in my spirit as if I was watching something happening in my spirit just to illustrate this concept I remember seeing uh, a group in uh, in uh, Brazil waiting on the Lord and the Lord speaks to them and he said meet me in the Philippines on that day on that hour so this group obeyed the Holy Spirit and they started their journey another group in uh, in Iraq meet me in the Philippines on this day and on this hour heard the Holy Spirit got up and they started their journey and then another group in uh, in Tanzania meet me in the Philippines at this day at this hour same day same hour none of none of these groups I mean uh, the, the the nations I'm putting just for you to understand figuratively but as these people obeyed they came into the Philippines on the same day, on the same hour. And then they are looking at each other and say, what brought you here? What brought you here? What brought, they started talking and they decided, they discovered that none of them know each other. None of them has communicated before, but it is the Holy Spirit. There is a unity in the spirit as we come into that surrender and obedience to the head, the Lord Jesus Christ. And the Holy Spirit will lead us there is a, a movement in the spirit of unity and oneness that will release us as one to release decrees, to release words, to release things in the spirit that will have the impact of the authority of the agreement, even when we don't know that we agreed together. So I believe, <coughs> excuse me, actually I believe 2021 we're going to see the manifestation of that especially the enemy is going overboard to cause confusion and chaos and people will think wow there is no safety there is no stability everything is shaking division but actually it's the enemy's tactics because his not his time is short so he's going overboard but the Lord is has already I'm not saying he is he started already and now he is in the final touches to reveal the unit the spiritual united nations to the world his body his ecclesia david thank you once again it's such a joy to talk to you thank you lauren and to all of you folk that have been watching and have joined us today i just want to say that you are part of the lord's united nations and do you remember that we were speaking at some stage about the zone and that's this wonderful connection of the spirit. And this is not just for David. This is for every believer. Every believer can draw close to the Lord 
and be part of the United Nations and be part of that story he shared where the Holy Spirit will be the one to lead the sons of God to wherever he wants us to be and however he wants us to be and wherever he wa- whatever he wants to do. But that's what he's pressing in for. And I have to tell you a secret, he's not going to give up. So press into the zone, be part of the United Nations. Thank you so much for joining us again. And I'm going to say until next time, enjoy heaven.